Okay, today um, on this group, we're going to be going over three examples of problems that have been solved incorrectly. So your goal is basically to find uh, where your errors or the fallacies are in this problem solving process, okay? So uh, the instruction is to factor, factor the following. I'm going to put that here, just so I don't run out of space. Factor the following completely. Okay, factor the following completely. Okay, number one, we have the uh, uh, binomial expression 3x squared minus 12. Now, to factor this completely, I want to first of all check to see if there is the greatest common factor I can pull out. So I find the decomposition of each term. I have 3 times x times x minus, if I break down 12 using my factor 3, I'll have 3 times 4. We have 3 times 4. Oh, wait, I can break down two, 4 into 2 times 2. So it's 3 times 2 times 2. Okay? Now I can extract 3 and 3. That's the only greatest common factor. So I have 3 times the quantity x squared minus 4. Okay? And then to factor this, I will just read the first, I read the last, and then I'll bring down the middle sign. And my factor form is 3 times the quantity x minus 2 squared. Okay? All right, so let me box that as my first incorrect answer. This problem, number one, has, it has exactly one error in it. This problem has uh, one error. Okay? So the task is to find out what the error is. All right, now let's... um. Let's go ahead and try another example. So we're going to have one error. We have one error here. One error. All right, number two. So for number two, we have a perfect square trinomial, uh, which is a 4x, 4x squared minus 32x minus 4. So the fact that if I just tell myself, wait a minute, since this is a square and that's a square, I'll just read the first term. Read the last term, and I'm going to add and subtract the square roots. So I'm going to have 2x as the square root of 4x squared plus 2 times 2x minus 2, which is the square root of the first and the last, but it's something the difference. So there goes the complete factorization of number 2. Now this, so this problem has exactly two errors in it. Okay, so go ahead and find the two errors. This problem has two errors. All right, for my example, example number three, a little bit longer, we have a uh, triangular expression, a quadratic triangular x squared minus x minus six. So first thing I do is I break down everything to see if there is a great sum of factor to be extracted. So I have x times x to decompose the first minus x minus two times three. Now, in this common factor, I assemble uh, the products, you decompose products of factors into the original space, x squared minus x minus 6. Now, I need four terms so I can factor by grouping. So, all I do is I make my, my x. And then uh, I have, I put AC on the top and B on the bottom. Okay, so AC goes on the top, B on the bottom. So, we have negative 6 is AC and 1 is B. So, what works here? Two numbers that add to give you this, well, add to give you this and multiply to give you that, we have three and two, right? Uh, but wait, three minus two, so this works perfectly. So I'll insert these two terms into the middle term so that I can factor by grouping. So I have x squared, uh, let me change the color, minus three x, oh wait, plus three x for this, minus two x for that, minus six. Now I have four terms. And I'll break it down the center and factor by grouping. Okay, so let's go ahead and insert the partition right behind this sign right here. So uh, what I'm going to have, I'm going to have from the first, from the first, I'm going to break everything down so I can extract factors. All right, so I have x times x plus three times x minus two times x. If I break down six, it's two times three. Okay, so I can take out x and an x from the first part. I'll have x. And I'll put x plus 3. 
and I can extract the minus from these two and the sign changes, I'm going to have plus two. And I take out this two and then this two, and I'm left with x plus three. So uh, my answer is going to become x plus two times x plus three. Okay, so this was my third incorrect answer right here. Okay, so uh, this problem, this particular incorrect solution, has exactly um, two errors. This one has two errors in it. Okay, so go ahead and find out what the errors are. Okay, time out. So now let me go ahead and show you where the mistakes are. Yeah, for number one, whenever you're factoring a difference in squares, when you take the square root, you're supposed to add and subtract the square, the denominator. You're supposed to add and subtract the denominator. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this piece. Example one to a different sheet, and then I'll show you how to do it. Okay. Okay. So now we have we're going to do uh, we're going to do the corrections. Let's correct our work. Okay. So corrections, corrections. All right. So uh, for the first one, we have three x squared minus twelve. So first thing to do, yes, you break it down as we did times three times two times two. The greatest common factor is three. So you extract the three and left with x squared minus four. This is a difference of squares, and to factor the difference of squares a squared minus b squared, you basically have the sum and the difference of the square roots, right, of the first and the last term, right? So if I apply that here, if I take the square root of the first and the last, all I'll do is I'll add and subtract the square root, okay? So the answer is going to be three times x minus two times x plus two. And there is the correct answer uh, for number one. Okay? So this uh, solution right here is wrong. All right, let's go down to number two. Let's correct our mistake here. Uh, so for number two, first thing you want to do every time you have a polynomial uh, expression to uh, factor, you want to first of all um, inspect it see the greatest common factor that can be extracted or decompose every term and see if you can pull out the greatest common factor. All right. So if I decompose this I'll have two times two times x times x minus if I break down 32 I'll have five two two times two times two times two times two times one two three exactly times x and then the last one is two times two. Okay. So what are the greatest common factor you notice that two twos are common in every single term. Right? So I'm gonna go ahead and extract those. So I'm going to have 2 times 2 on the outside, you to multiply to give you 4. And there are no common factors of what's left. We're going to multiply them back together. x squared minus 8x uh, minus 1. Okay. So, so there, there you have it. So this is, this is the formulation that you have right here. Okay. So... Uh, Let's, so this is how it looks. All right, and if you examine this, you notice that this is not even a perfect square trinomial because uh, when you take the square, if you double the square root of the first term and the last term, you do not get the middle term right. If you double that, it's 2 times x times 1, which is 2x, and that's not what 8x is. So this is not a perfect square. So you can't factor it by reading the first and the last and bringing down the middle sign. Okay? And if you had a problem that looked like this, let's see a problem where uh, x squared uh, minus 2x minus 1. And in this case, you just read the first and the last, bring down the middle sign, and it's going to be x minus 1 quantity squared. We know that this is a perfect square trinomial because if you double these two terms, you're going to get the middle term, all right? So that's how you do it. So this one, this is how, how far it goes. And this result right here. All right, let's move uh, along to the last one, number three. All right, so basically the two errors here are that uh, four cannot be factored out, and secondly, that this is not a perfect square trinomial. Okay? All right, let's move on to number three. 
go for number three. Um, we have x squared minus x minus 6. So break everything now down x minus x minus x minus 2 times 3. This is correct. Nothing comes out, so we, re we, re we reassemble it as it was before. And if we bake it into a factor root uh, polynomial uh, with four terms, we make our x gang and find the two numbers that make uh, this factor of y grouping, okay? So this is where the first mistake occurred. AC is negative 6, and B is negative 1, not 1, all right? So that was the first mistake right here. So this x, x, x game right here is wrong, all right? So to make this work, we have negative 3 and 2, all right? So negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1. So we plug that in, x squared minus 3x plus 2x uh, minus 6. We break it down the center and factor by grouping. So from the first two, uh, oh, well, let's break it down so it's easy to factor, right? Times x minus 3 times x plus 2 times x minus 2 times 3. So we take out x from the first two, x times x minus 3. And then we take out 2 from the last two. Now, this is another mistake that was made. That was made. When you, when, this middle sign never changes. We were supposed to drop down this middle sign to minus, so it's minus 2 here. You see the sign? It stays the same. Okay? So if you're factoring out a positive, positive has no impact on the other sign. Okay? X minus 3. All right? Whenever you factor out a negative, however, it does have an impact here, so it just changes to a plus. All right? So these two are identical. Factor them out as 1. And then X plus 2. This is the correct uh, result to that original problem. Okay? So this is the correct answer. And then... The other one, this is correct, and this is wrong. Okay, so your first error here was the AC, and then the second error was this error with this sign right here. Click on this sign, it is not here. So, thanks so much for taking the time to watch this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more cool math videos. This is there. More videos can be found on mathbiz.com. Thanks again, and have a wonderful day.